Welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trish and I've been leaving. So if you wanna see how I finished my dish towels and watch me take them off the loom, please keep watching. All right, so some of you know I got a loom last spring. It's almost been a year now. Holy cow, what? And I warped for some dish towels in October, but I kind of got sidetracked during the holidays and just didn't weave or anything really. And I finished the dish towels. So specs, I know someone's gonna want the specs. These were woven on an Ashford 32 inch rigid heddle loom. I used a 12.5 dent reed with 8-2 cotton. It is 221 ends um, in the warp and they were doubled. So there is two strands through every slot, two strands through every hole. That actually makes it easier if you're gonna do stripes with like odd numbers of strands because, because you know, you just pull through every single one instead of just the slots to slay it later. Uh, if you have a rigid, rigid head of loom, you'll probably understand that. And I used a single strand of 8-2 cotton for the weft. That does create a weight that I'm pretty happy with. I would say it's a, a little heavier than like a flour sack towel. They're very absorbent. And I got the cotton at Great Northern Weaving in Kalamazoo, Michigan. You can order online, but they also do have a location that you can go into. It's a warehouse though, so be aware. It's not like, you know, your little mom and pop weaving shop. It is a warehouse and you go in there and look at racks and racks of stuff. So they do keep it separated pretty well, but, and it was very fun actually to dig through that, but I think that's probably not everyone's cup of tea, so. So I had done some research that the standard dish towel was 16 by 20 and these are actually just a tiny bit bigger than that. Um, I designed the warp with all these colors and then my husband kind of read me my schematic as I was warping the loom. It took forever. I kind of regret, you should know this because maybe someday it'll be a problem that you'll have to face, that I warped 16 feet and then just wove a plain weft throughout the whole thing. I figured it made sense because I would just divide what I came out with over the course of like five or six towels depending on how much I got and then, you know, it would be enough to make five or six set of matching towels. I did not separate the towels. I just wove yardage and then you'll see how I cut and finished it. Anyway, I hope you will stick with me. You need to see how easy it is to finish these towels and also how like kind of goof proof it is because even if you have a seam, or I'm sorry, a hem that doesn't look like 100% perfect like you're so happy with it when you sew it, when you actually wash them and the cotton blooms a little bit, they look really good. Like, see that? All of my hems look a little crooked while you're trying to do it, but that looks great. If I do say so myself. That's like my fourth set. So I think I'm still refining my process a little bit. Anyway, hang out with me while I finish these towels. See how easy it is. It's gonna make you wanna weave your own towels. <laughs> extra inches of work to finish up. I'm gonna speed through this but it's kind of fun to watch I think. Oh, here come those scissors that you are not allowed to touch.
So in order to cut these, I just figured out how I could make six equal length towels. And then I doubled them up because my rotary cutting mat is a little bit smaller and used a rotary cutter. But you can just as easily cut these with scissors. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to show you two different ways to do the seam. My preference is this first way with an iron. I just fold it over about a quarter to three eighths of an inch. Be careful not to tug too much side to side because when you're this close to the like fraying fabric, it can spread a little bit. So um, just try to keep it a little bit stable and you'll see me trying to match the stripes out to, up to make sure that I don't stretch it on the edge there. And then as soon as you get the first fold done, you're gonna just double it over about another 3 8 of an inch roughly and iron it again. Okay, so this is the way I have done it, <laughs> but I don't really think the results are quite as nice. I use some of those little clips, they're like seam clips, sometimes I use them when I'm knitting to match up where I want things to be. 
Um, basically, I just folded it without ironing it and clipped it. I don't think it turns out quite as smooth, but I have been lazy and done this before, and to be honest, it does look pretty good on the edge of a towel, so just use what you've got. You can do it. I got to my machine and realized I had left the zipper foot in last time I used it and um, some color of thread that I used to sew a zipper in with, I don't remember. So I just changed the foot out really quick and re-threaded up my machine with white. You can use any color that goes with your dish towel or if you want a contrasting one, like that's pretty cool too. I like how it looks, but I went with white, I just want to keep it simple. I moved the needle all the way over to the left so that I could line up the edge of the foot on that fold. That's why my thumb was going to the left. And then I'm just gonna sew a few stitches forward and then back up to lock it in, just like you would on any other seam that's gonna be finished. And sew along that seam and then make sure that you back it up again at the other end to interlock those stitches in a little bit. And again, you can kind of see this is the method that I prefer. It's very tidy and also I feel like it's less kind of finagling at the machine. It's sort of a matter of like where do you want to fiddle around? Do you want to fiddle around at the machine or do you want to fiddle around on the ironing board? Um, you'll see when I do the clip side that I have to fiddle around a bit more. But easy as that. You can see it's a pretty nice, clean little seam. And this is the end of this towel. It's all hemmed. It's done now. All I have to do is launder it the way that I'm gonna launder it when I use it. And honestly, they turned out so pretty. The cotton really blooms and like fluffs up. I'm um, sure most of you who have looms already know that, but it just, they turned out adorable and I'm ready to move on to my next weaving project. Thanks for watching.